Hi everyone, this is Kudoshi, and this video is an ultimate tutorial slash guide to making Dota 2 custom game. The aim of this video is to teach you how to self-learn, as currently there aren't many video tutorials or text-based guide which are easy for beginners to follow. This means you will have to do a lot of self-research and you have to learn by trial and error. What you see might be gibberish and might not really make sense to you, but do not worry, it happens to me, it happens to everybody when we are still new. What you can do though, is you can just revisit this video when you understand a little bit more. Now before I begin, I would like to tell you about a great website called moddota.com. This is a website created by the great community of the custom game. The website contains a lot of great resources and knowledge you can use to start learning how to make your custom game or to just further expand your knowledge on making custom game. Now, I really strongly suggest you to visit that site if you are a beginner and visit their introduction page. This website is not only for beginners as they contain a lot of the more advanced stuff like panorama, assets and all different kinds of tools. Now, if you are genuinely stuck somewhere, you can just feel free to message me in Discord or the pros in the Mod Duda Discord. Language. These are the language that will be used. Lua for gameplay scripting, CSS and JavaScript for user interface. Don't worry if it seems like there are too much language for you to learn all at once. You can just learn Lua first, then maybe the others in the future, as you can code an entire working custom game with just Lua. So if you are new, just concentrate on Lua first. So Lua is also beginner friendly, as it is very straightforward. Now, the most important question of all is, how do I get the workshop tool? to create the custom map that I dreamt of. Now, in this video created by Poker Dave, he will walk you through the basics of how to download the workshop tools and the basics of how to use it. I will put the link of his YouTube video in the description. Explanation of the two files of the custom game. This might be a little bit complicated, but feel free to revisit this section in the future. So now, there are two files where your game files exist. So on this section, I want to explain to you what are the differences between the two files. So in your custom game files, you have two places where your custom, custom game mode add-ons exist. First is in the game files. So in, the, in this game files over here, in this game, Dota add-ons and whichever add-on name it is, is where all your scripts exist. So as an example, I have my project here called Tree Tech Tremble. As you can see, all the scripts are over here. All the game scripts are over here and most of this stuff over here are all the compiled texture, which you wouldn't need to touch at all except for this resource thing which um, I might make a new video about it in the future but for now it is a place where you put your um, images of your items and your spell icons. Now another place where it exists, I mean your custom game mode exists is on the content side. So on the content side which is in the Dota 2 beta instead of game is in the content. In the content, Dota add-ons and in whichever add-on names it is, as an example, um, Free Tech Tremble. This is this is the site, the content file where all your user interface, your materials, your textures, and your maps are in. As you can see here, you have your maps, and then your materials and panorama. Panorama, which is basically the graphic interface the user interface and also the particle stuff are all here software that you will need 
there are a few softwares that you will need to have in order to make your custom games. One of it is Visual Studio Code. You will need a text editor to code your custom games, which is why you must have Visual Studio Code in order to do the coding. Other text editor works as well, but I will recommend you using Visual Studio Code. How to download it? Simple. Just head on to the link in the description that I wrote below and just download and install it. VS Code Extension Now, the reason why I recommend using VS Code is that you can use extension. Extension really improves your productivity when coding your custom game. Now, click on this button right here and type in Dota. Then you have a list of extension. Click on this Dota Reborn code. Then there will be a button called install. Just hit that and you're good to go. Now, what does this extension do? So basically it color codes your code. And it can also give you like a list of API to use and give you a brief explanation of the function of the API. I will talk a little bit more about API later in this video. The next software that you will need is GCFscape. GCFscape is like WinRAR, but for unzipping Dota 2's custom game. It allows you to look at the codings of other custom games and learn from it. Now, I will remind you that you should never ever copy codes blindly as you will never learn from doing such things. You should reverse engineer their codes and learn from it. Now, to download it, you just head on to this link and just click download and install it. How to use GCFscape? So basically, you have to go to where all your workshop maps are in. So you go into Steam, Steam Maps, Workshop, Content, 570. The 570 right here is the ID for Dota 2. And inside it, you will have all these different numbers. So all these different numbers refer to the workshop map ID. Now, as an example, let's say that you want to look at a specific custom maps coding. All you have to do is to go on to the workshop map on the browser. There will be a number over here that will refer to these numbers over right here. So let's say you want to look at Create Tremble's coding. You find it, subscribe to it, and wait for it to download. After that, you enter into the corresponding file. Then you can see the codings for the Tree Tech Tremble. You can use it to learn like specific stuff from specific custom games. And this thing will come up. So it's basically like WinRAR. You just have to um, right click this one, extract it somewhere, and then you just extract it. So I have extracted it. So once extracted, you will have something like uh, this. So you have something like this. So you can see at their scripts see how they actually do their stuff and then you can um, slowly learn from it you know the next software that i strongly advise you to get is github github is basically a version control system so you write a code you save it then in the future you'll be like oh no i made a mistake you can then use github to go back to a previous version of the code you can also go like, hey, this code looks right and stable. I don't want to mess it up. So you use GitHub to branch off to continue on your coding. So whatever code that you write on that branch will not change the other branch at all. You can switch back to the other branch of coding at any time. So I will link down a YouTube video down below to show you what is GitHub and how to set up GitHub desktop and how to use it. Dota API Dota API is like a simple code for a specific function. As an example, this API right here is alive. We'll check whether the unit is alive. Basically, it will just make your life a little bit more simple. So this page contains most of the API you can use. So I will teach you how to use them. Search the API that you want. So you copy the API like this. Then you go on to GitHub. Paste it here. Click search all and press code. Then you have this, a list of codes. 
you can refer to see how to use the API. Control F, paste, and tada! Now we have reached the end of this video. I will link multiple resources that I've mentioned below. So tell me what you guys think in the comment section below and whether there are certain stuff you want me to cover on. It will make my day if you were to subscribe. Each subs means a lot to me. So now, good day to you. Wish you best of luck.